Now, Randy Patrick with News 5 Sports. Well, there's nothing like the Reese's Senior Bowl. Maybe that's why it's been around almost 70 years. Coaches and scouts are looking for a few good men in Mobile this week that may help their team get to the Super Bowl. Here's a recap of an event filled Tuesday. Senior Bowl All-Stars got their first taste of what it's like to practice in front of NFL coaches and scouts. The 68th All-Star game is Saturday, but there's a lot of work to do between now and then on and off the field. Just come out here and work like we always worked at Bama to the Alabama stand and you bring it out here and get back, you're going to be successful. The All-Stars had a busy day. It started at the convention center with the annual weigh-in. Zachary Banner from Southern Cal tipped the scales at 361 pounds. He's the heaviest player here, while Donnell Pumphrey from San Diego State is one of the smallest All-Stars at 5'8", 169 pounds. Whatever the size, it's hard to measure the heart of these players. Chicago Bears head coach John Fox gets an up-close and personal look as the North head coach. When you look at tape sometimes, again, you're looking at how they play football, that's what you're being evaluated on, but, um, you know, it's, there's a little robotic type of element to that. You're just looking at film with guys in helmets and shoulder pads versus knowing the guy. The All-Stars wrapped up a busy day with the press at media night at the Gulf Quest Museum. Alabama, Auburn, and South Alabama represented in this year's game. We've heard for months that Jaguar tight end Gerald Everett can play at the next level. Now it's his chance to show it. I mean, just don't be afraid to chase your dream, you know what I'm saying? I mean, God will take you wherever you need to go. You know, I mean, people, great players come from all over the place, so, I mean, just don't be afraid. College head coaches were on the move today, and when they weren't recruiting in our area, they were visiting the players at Ladd Stadium. We spotted Bama's Nick Saban, Clemson's Davo Swinney, LSU's Ed Orgeron, and Grambling's Broderick Fobbs. Fobbs and Saban almost crossed paths while recruiting at Williamson High. Did you have to arm wrestle Nick Saban over at Williamson High School today for a recruit or two? <laughs> no, I don't think we're actually competing for the same player, you know, but hopefully one day we will. Well, I think the Senior Bowl is a great opportunity for uh, our players, you know, especially being in our state here in Mobile. And uh, a lot of fans have a lot of interest in what our players do in this game. You guys know who you're competing with, so uh, you don't mind going head to head with those no, guys? No, I don't mind at all. We, we love competing. And, you know, Mobile is not that far from Baton Rouge. It's a great place to come. All right, see, I told you it was a very busy Tuesday. Here's the sp practice schedule for tomorrow. Now, the North will go first at 12.15. The South All-Stars taking the field for two hours between 3 and 5. Practices are open to the public, and they're free of charge. The Auburn Tigers.